I'm not gonna listen to your hate. Rowan, are we good? Okay. Okay. Hello and welcome to this special report from OTT Wrestling, coming to you from Dublin's famous National Stadium. I'm your host, Angus McAnally, and joining me is one of the most controversial figures in independent pro wrestling, the product, David Starr. We're here to talk about you going toe-to-toe -to -toe against our benchmark, the Irish ace, Jordan Devlin. You two know each other inside out. This is going to be an interesting fight. You can fit on time out. You know what? You fixed that question a bit. I mean, it was just kind of, it was kind of bugging me. <laughs> But did you claim him as the, the benchmark, right? Those are your words? Be objective. Rephrase it, go ahead. If you guys want, you can cut so we can make Angus look, uh, you know, competent. Go ahead, you can ask the question. I'll, I'll answer it when it's asked correctly. <clears throat> you have a fight coming up against one of our most high profile fighters here at that's, OTT, that's Jordan Devlin. You two know each other inside out. This is gonna add an extra dimension to this fight. An extra dimension? No, this is over. This is, this is the end of it all. It's all climaxing. <laughs> right here in this building, right? The same, the same place that we watched Jordan shake hands with Walter, right? I stood, where's that? Yeah, right on that stage, right over there. And I watched that happen. I watched him, uh, This has been a long journey for you. Are you sure? Are you ready for this fight? Are you ready to bring something fresh to this fight? What, what does Jordan bring that's fresh to the table? It's the same old, same old, same old, same old. <laughs> He's gonna call himself the Irish Ace while you know being stuck in the shadow of like Becky Lynch and Finn Balor, right? Okay, so he can do that, right? That happens over and over again. Let's, let's see, um, he's gonna showcase himself this big Irish hero, right? That's the whole point, that's like his whole spiel. Is this fight for you not just about the friendship that was, not just about the legacy of this series of fights, is it for you at this stage almost a war of ideologies that you feel that he's chosen one path and you've chosen another? Is that what this comes down to? The path that, that he took is the same path that wants to, wants to kill off us. You think shows are gonna be happening for independent wrestling in, in National Stadium in Ireland when his owners get what they want? Do you think you're gonna have a job? Is that what you think? <laughs> Understand the bigger picture of things. Like, and, and that's the thing, I, I, have, I have embraced, listen, I, I don't mean to be so antagonistic. I, I understand that you have, a, you have a job to do and I'm a fair man, okay? You just have to understand the bigger picture, the way I look at it, right? You have this massive corporation that has fixated itself on monopolizing an entire industry. But that's what's been going on, right? Can you deny that? That's your impression. That's no, your no, 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 okay, let's, let's, let's look. You can go through history and that's the way, the way it's gone. They've made themselves Coca-Cola, haven't they? When I go down the street and someone goes, what do you do for a living? You look really important, what do you do? And I go, well, I'm a pro wrestler. And they go, oh, like WWE? And I have to say, absolutely not. Nothing like WWE. Because you know what, I, my money that I take, the money that I accept is clean. I don't have to worry about where it came from, what shady backdoor channels it came from. It also doesn't come from an exploitation of somebody's labor. Can, can, can Jordan say that? How, does, how clean is Jordan's bank account? Jordan definitely can hold his head high <laughs> oh, as an ambassador about, yeah, yeah. for this sport and for this country. <laughs> as if I'm not. Well, what why, am I, why am I not an ambassador for this sport, Angus? No, 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 because you're, you're very, 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 very clear in how you feel about Jordan. Why am I not an ambassador for this sport? Why is, why is one path so accepted because it seems to be everybody's, everybody's dream? Oh my, you know, I, I just want to wrestle on WrestleMania. Well, you're not gonna. You know what? It's, it's, it's a pipe dream, it's, it's, it's a brass ring. You're being sold a false prophecy. You're being sold an idea. This, this idea that you're gonna make it, right? You do a fantastic job. Yeah, I do. At shouting from the sidelines about what's wrong. Shouting from the sidelines? I'm deep in the trenches, man. Well, talk to me, what does a what David Starr no, 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 future how, looks I, like? I wanna, how dare you say that I'm shouting from the sidelines? 
What is that about? If anything, you're shouting from the sidelines. Are you, a, look what, you, you do interviews like this, you sit on your desk, you do commentary based on analysis of a sport you've never been a part of. Who the hell are you to talk about it? I want you to check yourself, okay? Come at me correct if you're gonna talk to me. What does a David Starr future look like? What, what is your ideal? What do you want the world of pro wrestling to be? How do you see your future shaking out? How do I see my future? <laughs> Standing in the middle of this ring, from a packed crowd, what, 2,000 people? 2,000 plus. 2,000 plus. I'm gonna stand over Jordan Devlin. And I'm gonna raise up the OTT Championship. Cause it's gonna be mine. Actually, it's not just gonna be mine. It's gonna be ours. Cause it's been taken from all of us, hasn't it? You wanna, you wanna talk at the benchmark? Right, you wanna talk about that? I'm main eventing shows while Jordan Devlin's champion on the undercard. Does that, who's the benchmark? Who's taking this to the next level? Let's talk about you as a talker. You're a guy who likes to have your opportunity. Here's your shot, there's your camera. Send a message to Jordan Devlin now. Tell him what you wanna say. We're giving you the platform. You're really excited about this, aren't you? This is your opportunity. Send a message. Jordan. Jordan, the company that you work for, I'm gonna uh, break this to you, isn't cool. It's not. It is a part of this massive system. This massive, massive system that continues to, <laughs> to take advantage and, and exploit a wealth disparity in this world. You are a cog in that machine. And you, by being silent, or just by simply collecting your paycheck, are complicit. You represent something that is a cancer to professional wrestling. And while we might have our personal differences, obviously, this is so much more than that. This is more than Walter, this is more than me and you. This is about taking back what's rightfully ours. It's taking back what's rightfully ours. Big moment at the National Stadium for the fifth anniversary show. David Starr. Don't be so dejected, man. Thank Come you up. for taking the time yes, to speak to us today. You're welcome, Angus.